Okay, so let's get into how to correct UWorld. And let me tell you, for those of you taking the USMLEs, Comlex, or boards, the number one mistake people make is not actually not knowing enough or doing Anki or doing enough practice tests. It's actually not effectively making use of their UWorld or any other question bank. So, hey guys, I'm Kartika Swami. I'm a fourth year MD student in Northern California. I'm applying to internal medicine this year. I will be matching within the next month and a half, or at least I hope to. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But in the meantime, we're gonna dive in this video, how you should be correcting your UWorld. What led me to my success? Uh, for those of you that don't know, I went from a 33% of my first practice test for step one, all the way to a 71% two days before the exam. And then for my step two, I started at a 146 on my first practice exam on January 1st, 2024. And on May 25th, 2024, I scored a 252. So the techniques I'm going to go over on how to correct UWorld and other question banks are proven. I've proven them to myself. I've done this with my students that I've worked with. And now I'm going to help you guys on how you guys should correct this, how you should go about this. So without further ado, let's get into it. First thing we're going to talk about in this video is how do we even set it up? Um, the next thing we'll go into is how do you actually analyze the questions? How do you actually know what to put on those documents? And then lastly, we'll go over how you should be reviewing these very important documents. So stay tuned. We're going to get into exactly how to correct your question banks. And this could even apply to your practice tests. First off, you got to set up some form, a method for your corrections. You know, when you're going through your world, you're gonna inevitably have things that you got wrong, things you, you forgot, or things that you feel just iffy on. And those are things you need to record down. And the method of recording can vary depending on your personal preference. I'll give you some options right now. You can have Anki, you can have normal flashcards, you can do Quizlet, you can write down on a piece of binder paper, you can write down on your iPad or tablet, which is what I prefer. I use Notability, but um, anyways, um, you can do so many different methods to write down things that you want to review again, but this is key. Pick a method. These five I just listed out are great ways people do. If you have a different way of doing it, do it, but just make sure you're recording stuff down you have a method of recording it down so if you're doing a more of a note style template you're going to want to set it up by subject and i do recommend most people to do a note style subject it's the most organized way to go about this but you can do this in anki and flashcards as well basically you're going to set it up by subject for example look on the screen here's an example of my how i set it up i have i am surgery obgyn etc you know just list it out and this is for my step two by the way for those of you guys confused where is the cardio and stuff so I separate out by section and that allows me to put in all the knowledge from that section. For example, if it had said cardiology on it, I would go and put all my cardiology questions, knowledge, content that I'm iffy on and I would have it in there. All right. So just separate it out by section that helps you stay organized. That's going to help you really know when it were to go back. Let's say you want to be like, oh, I want to review um, my renal system. Oh, I want to review my stats. You can just go onto your iPad. You can go onto your Anki flashcard deck, go into that section and be like, all right, here's a section. Here's what I'm going to review and I'll get this understood. So it really, really helps with organization. And if you have any questions on how to set up this, please feel free to comment below, email me. I'd be happy to talk this through with you. But yeah, so make sure you're organized. And then once you have an organization, kind of have that document or flashcard set or whatever, like I would say bolded, but somewhere where you can access it really efficiently. So I always had my laptop and my iPad right next to each other, laptop for your world, um, doing all the questions. And then when I'm correcting, I would have my iPad right there. It's ready. And I would click in between sections. For example, on Notability, you can bookmark. And so when I bookmark between cardiology, pulmonology, depending on the question is, oh, it switches to pulmonology now. I'll just go to the bookmark, scroll down, click palm, and then all the palm sections there. And then I can fill it in right there, or I can review that section. So on to the next thing. The next thing is, how do you analyze your world? How do you analyze your question banks. So when you analyze these question banks, you want to go through every single question. Yes, I said every single question. Uh, most people only go over their incorrects. They, you know, forego everything else. But the thing is your corrects, go over them as well. Because if you're anything like me, you know, you've probably got a lot of lucky guesses in there then, you know? But even if you know this stuff, you might be like, oh, I'm a little iffy on this. Oh, I actually forgot this. And just do a quick skip. So let me show you on an incorrect question. 
question I have on this incorrect question right here. So I had picked C, the answer was B, you know? So I scroll down, first read the first intro paragraph, you know, with the picture, read the intro paragraph, get a little summary of what lateral medullary syndrome is or Wallenberg syndrome. Um, very hard topic for me to grasp, but you know, the intro is where I learn, okay, this is what this is. I usually go there, go down to like the neuro section of my notes, write down the summary from that top and then write that down, summarize in my own words. Then what I would do next is go to the answer that I picked and the answer I picked was C. So why was C wrong? Let's go in, read C. Why was that thought process wrong? And then I questioned it. I'm like, okay, I had thought of it wrong. This was totally something else. Let me write that also in neuro, in my neuro section of my notes. And that's what I do. And then usually I end with the end summary little section. Uh, and I read that box to reinforce the right answer, why it was right. And that's how I usually go about my incorrects. I'm sure you could read the other options. And I usually do at the beginning of a block, beginning of a test period, just to get as much knowledge in. But as I become more refined, I usually try to skip the other answer choices as it just takes extra time. And I'm already a little comfortable with the material. It's like, I don't need to look at every single thing. For the corrects, I'm just gonna read that intro part and the summary part. And if there's anything in that intro and summary part, I do not know, I will write it down in that section for the corresponding question. Um, so the point is you're just trying to summarize and see, test yourself. Do I know this stuff? Oh yeah, this makes sense. You don't need to write anything down. If you forgot something, you feel iffy about it, do write it down. And if you want to glance at the other uh, answer choices and it's like, whoa, I've never heard this term before. I want to read what it says on your world. You can do that. Learn about it. Uh, you don't always have to do that, but it, it is extra knowledge. Um, I just don't recommend it all the time because it does take a lot of time and you're already going to spend a lot of time through these corrections. So if you don't have to, you don't really need to. But I do like to emphasize at the beginning of your prep, try to go through every answer choice just so you get more knowledge and so you get more comfortable with the material. It does really help. So that's how you analyze the questions. That's how you decide what do I put in? What am I iffy on? What do I do not know? What do I want to remember again? That's what you put into your document, your Anki, your flashcards, whatever. Moving on to the third step for your corrections. You have to, have to, have to. I can't emphasize this enough. You have to review them. Reviewing them is the only way you're going to get that knowledge back into your head, keep it in your head. And that's the only way you're going to go forward knowing that material. So what I did was every week I would try to complete my whole document and it did keep growing bigger and bigger and bigger, but I split it up over the course of seven days. Maybe I started doing 10 pages a day, then 15 then 20 as the weeks go on and the document kept getting bigger corrections. But my goal was to just review the document once a week. And sometimes I couldn't with school. So it was once every two weeks. The point is by doing that, that really, really allowed me to really absorb the content and be like, oh, these are my weaknesses. This is what the hard stuff for me was to understand. And since I wrote it in my words, summarizing it from your world, it really spoke to me. So that's what you guys need to be doing. You need to be doing the for the Anki. If you're doing Anki or flashcards, you need to go through them. Daily basis, weekly basis, something that actually works for you that you can stick to and be consistent because consistency is key with this type of review. The more consistent you are, the more knowledge you're going to keep bringing into your head and the more ready you will be. So those are three steps on how to correct your world. If you have any questions, always feel free to ask. Also, if you're studying for the boards, go visit the doctorjourney.com, especially if you're taking step one, complex one, we have a free PDF, free PDF covering everything from how to apply for the test, how to study for the test, how to do things day before the exam, and my personal notes all on there for free. Just go log on to the website, scroll up, fill up the pop out form, and there you go. So if you have any questions, need any help with board prep, I'm here to help. Uh, we're here to help and let us know. Anyways, best of luck to you guys and stay healthy and stay happy everyone. Bye-bye.